Aloha friends. Good morning. I have not seen you guys in a while. I do apologize. I did um, say my last video. I hope I did that I had um, I had knee surgery. I had to recover for a few weeks. Um, could not be on my feet uh, with that. And then um, back to my uh, full-time job work schedule so it has been so busy and then um been working like nine days straight so i'm like trying to remember like because it's been a while so nine i worked nine days straight and yesterday and today was my day off yesterday i had um i had to put in overtime a uh, few hours and today hubby left to go get his uh, second set of tattoo. I think it's. I think he said he's putting it onto the other arm. So, a sleeve tattoo within uh, with the same lady that did Danielle's and um, hubby's um, last year. So they really like her uh, her style. She is, I believe, she is Samoan Polynesian. So they like the um, the Hawaiian style of tribal um and florals and such so she does really a uh, really good job so let me try to catch up uh, my house is a mess it's always a mess because it's always a work in progress but spring is here oh spring is here and so with spring we do a lot of diy so you guys are just gonna see me kind of like absent because one full work schedule lots of overtime and then um kids are still in school i decided uh well hubby and i decided not to have danny and danica go into the classroom even though it was being offered because of covid and our concern so they're still doing zoom at home which i have to set up danica right here so let me go ahead and show you it's been a while friends it's been a while okay so ooh, okay it's been a while <clears throat> Um, there's some footage into my camera that did not apply so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that but no more trees <laughs> I totally forgot to film um, but they took out that big tree that was like huge like remember when I would say aloha friends good morning that was that's gone because we were so concerned because when it gets so windy that it would fall into the house that is the city's tree so we can't touch that but at least it's like nice and open now and then over here um, is where they just piled up all the the wood so hubby's gonna use some of it as a seating chair for the fire pit right there so that black round one that's a fire pit um, He's going to cut down more of this cherry tree. And then um, I think that's about it So for this one. So just tidying up the yard. Lots of stuff to do with the yard. Ooh. My goodness. Cold, cold, cold. And it's still freezing cold. Freezing cold. Um, I'm gonna tidy up the living room. I think Danica's gonna be here or Danica's gonna be, oh, hubby set her up there. If you notice, things are a little bit different. So let's just start off here first. Um, I had gotten this over at Ikea, showed you a little bit of that. Um, finally found a cabinet to hold everything in its place. Um, so now I'm ready to kind of decorate it. I have a little time today, although Miss Mary, is coming today to map out the garden and I still need to finish decorating um, I got lots of plant babies <laughs> oh we had a movie night with Danica's little yellow bowl there uh, and then the popcorn bowl so I need to tidy that up I usually do this um, before we go to bed because I like this area tidy at least even though the house is a total mess but we were so tired um, again, more babies, and then over here, uh, I got my spring decor. I think I'm gonna do a haul of like um, uh, home goods and TJ Maxx because I've been adding stuff to the house, but just within the the home already, like decorated instead of uh, 
instead of what I, instead of like opening it, although I have a whole bunch, my studio is now a storage area because we are going to refinish the floor and then there's a toy there for Danica. I am just getting out of bed. So uh, my coffee bar has changed. Um, my coffee bar I always show into my other channel of a Simply Simple Scent because I do sell Scentsy, um, Scentsy Warmer, Scentsy products. And so like these um, that has like a wax melt in there. So I always display um, stuff here as far as Scentsy and then I film it for my other channel. Okay, this one as well. So I turn this on. This is a birdcage that's Scentsy. Let me turn it on. It's an element warmer. Oh, so unlike the other one that I showed you of the picture. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to move it too much. This one is an element. So it just has like a heating plate, which is perfect. So when I turn, um, forget to turn them off, it's just right there. And then that is the uh, birds of a feather. And then I always like to use my cake stand. Ooh, what happened to the light? Okay, hold on one second. All right, much better. <laughs> um, all right, so this one, I got these Ray Dunn's over at um, um, Home Goods and Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And then the most um, important thing is my kitchen. So like I said, hubby set up Danica in here already. Uh, we took out the island and we still need to top it. And I don't know if hubby's going to end up doing it, but um, they're also doing the, um, the boys are going to do the, the one into my studio, the bar. So we're going to top it, get some wood, attach it, and then stain the floor. And then we did some samples over here. And we went into one, two, three, one, two, three, that one, the third one, which is Jacoby. Is it ja ja Jacoby Bean? Um, I think that's the one. Yeah, because the other one was Kona. All right, so I got my little planters there. got some plants. My plants are doing good over here. Oh, my goodness, I forgot my um, banana ones out there. But I got babies. And then I got this one. It's really blossoming and doing really well. But as you guys can tell, my bay window is just turning into... Um, my baby <laughs> i keep telling hubby i'm making babies i'm making babies the nice thing is i'm not getting gnats um in the house still <laughs> but once it starts coming i do have like a, you know four or or three you know like but not a lot um not a lot to where it bothers me but um uh but that <laughs> yeah so i got i got things to do like always things to do so um these are the projects that we have had into the home but i like it so if you look here you can see like how open this kitchen is now because if you recall there was this little bitty island that had a sink and it was so useless to be honest because it didn't fit enough for the whole family to be on the island it was just enough for two chairs um and then it had that little area right there for the table that was going that way. But now um, everybody can sit onto the table. I can even add, I'm planning on adding like two fancy chairs onto each end uh, to be able to accommodate more seating kind of thing. Um, but now people can go around and then still have access to the back patio and it's not going to be such a tight space. Okay, so that is what's been happening um, over here into our household. Um, so that was like a, ooh, there we go. I'm orange always, but that's like a quick, um, quick, <laughs> quick catch up. So I do have some footage of, you know, things that we have done in the house, but because I was in hiatus recovering, I did not um, upload it. I was just so tired, friends, to be honest with you. It's like I the the pills that they gave me because they gave me um, oxycodone um, for, you know, for the pain and it would just knock me out. And 
I would be so restless um, if I did not take it. So I had to take it. And I took it for, gosh, a long, a, a while, <laughs> a while. And then now I'm taking melatonin because I'm just, uh, I'm just so tired that if I become restless, then I become tired the next day. And now it's just, uh, it's, I don't know. <laughs> I I tried to um I tried not to take a melatonin last night but I gave in. But still I'm wait I'm awake at 7. So that's the thing that it cuz I edit in the middle of the night. So I have always edited like when the kids are sleeping so midnight after I shower, I'll turn on my TV, I'll edit, I'll watch news in the background or have my gardening shows in the background and then I'll, you know, I'll edit. But now it's like once I take that melatonin within 30 minutes, it just knocks me out and then I don't wake up until the alarm goes off. So I do get a good sleep, but I'm not able to stay up for you guys and edit. So I gotta see how I can manage to do that. <laughs> and then plus my work schedule. So I have always worked, I love to do the um, the afternoon shift. I don't think it's called the graveyard, right? It's the one that starts like in the afternoon all the way until like 10 o'clock at night or so. Um, that shift starts next uh, next month. And so when I do that, then I'll have time in the morning for Danica with her homework and all that stuff. And then I'll, um, when I get off work, then that's like my relaxed time because I don't like to get off work and then straight to bed. So hopefully by that time, I don't have to take the melatonin because then I can wake up a little bit later. I take melatonin because now I have to wake up at like really six o'clock, <laughs> six o'clock for work. So hopefully that's a better um, thing. Um, schedule but I got a haircut I don't know how I like the way she cut my hair because like the bangs are like shorter but it's all right <laughs> this is why I cut my own hair and oh and oh look at that the sun is so out so out okay so yeah so I don't know if I like how she cut my hair but she um, she thinned it because it was so heavy and I still need to, um, what do you call that? I'm gonna, maybe I'll do it this weekend, but I need to um, tone it. <laughs> All right, friends, I gotta get some coffee, get Danica set up, Miss Mary's coming, and you know when Miss Mary comes, she's like, go, go, go. That woman is a workhorse. <laughs> so I told her, I think I'm trying to um, catch up to her because I've, you know, because going back to work, um, I've been drinking four cups of coffee on some days and she goes oh I make a 12 cup coffee and then I finish it <laughs> from brewing oh my goodness I go I, I, I cannot I cannot do that Miss Mary that is too much I will be crazy on the go all right friends oop I am dark again all right we'll see you guys in a bit Aloha, friends. so we are there somewhere uh, in Seattle Bolden gardens or garden Bolden yeah we we are going to um, the Starbucks Seattle Reserve. Is it roastery? Yeah, roastery. Roastery, not roastery. But uh, Jonathan wanted to meet up with some of his um, classmates in his business um, program, business school program. And it's hard because they're meeting at this location. But he only knows them through Zoom. And they're all wearing masks. So... So it's kind of getting hard to find, but there he is. He, I see him. So he's just going to go say hi and celebrate a birthday. So Hubby and I will stay from a distance and we're just going to enjoy the sunset. Woo! Look at that. Where's the sunset? Oh, it's already setting. Nice. I'll wait for him for a few minutes. Walk around. We have not been vlogging in a while. I've been so busy. I've been so busy with work. I don't like this um, schedule of uh, morning schedule. So I basically get up 7, 7, 7.30, and then get up, get myself away, coffee, prep Danica, um, her Zoom, wake up Danica, and then, um, huh? Oh, nothing. Oh, wake up Danica. 
Oh, walking on the tracks. Okay, wake up Danica and then I start work at 9 and she starts Zoom at 9.30. So make sure that she's awake, relaxing, having her hot cocoa and such. I can't, I can't do it. I don't like it. My shift is starts later um, in the afternoon that I'm used to so that I could get everything ready for her, relax, do a video um, or two in the morning for you guys, like a sensi video. So with this schedule that I've had in the past, um, I think almost three weeks now, I think, um, it's really hard because I'm up and I'm barely awake and then I'm rushing. And then when I get off work at 5.30, 6 o'clock, it's like I'm so tired. And then I have to make sure that there's dinner. Hubby cooks, but you know, sometimes other activities. So it's pretty busy. So anywho, we are here. So let me show you guys. Where's Hubby? Oh, Hubby. Yes. Hubby's new shoes. Check it out. Oh. <laughs> they are green. They are green. That's a seaweed. <sighs> but he got a new tattoo. Was it yesterday? Uh, was okay, yeah. show them, show them. Oh. Nice. Okay, tell That's them. lotion all over it, so I'm like, <laughs> trying to keep it. It still feels like a sunburn. So. Tell them what it represents. Oh, so there's four flowers in total. So the three within the diamond represent the girls, and the diamond represents the woman, the females, and the one on the outside is for the boy, for Donovan. So. Nice. Aww, Aww. Hubby loves us. Hubby, so people always say you're a good hubby. Really? Yeah. Mm. I'm, I'll try. I'll I'm try. Not, <laughs> I met one of my YouTube um, Bay's friends. She moved here a few years ago. Her husband um, works at a local company over here because, you know, um, Seattle, we have Boeing, we have Microsoft. And, um, and so, anyways, when uh, I met her for the first time yesterday, she gave me such a wonderful gift. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Yari. And then when I was referring to Hubby, and then I said his name, Jacob, I go, oh yeah, Hubby's name is Jacob. He goes, you mean Hubby's name is not Hubby? <laughs> I'm like, I always refer Hubby to Hubby. Oh yeah, so it's so nice to meet her. Oh my gosh, she's just such a wonderful person. So I can't wait to, you know, to go for a walk with her at our waterfront. So we have a waterfront like this as well. When the weather's much nicer, when I don't have to work the morning shift. So, looking forward to that. Um, ooh, pretty cool. So, Jonathan's just hanging out there for a while. We're just gonna walk and look at the birds. And the, the Starbucks closes at nine. Oh. We have plenty of time though, right? Because it's like 6.30, 7? Uh, 7.40. 7.30! How far is it? Like 30 minutes? 30 minutes. Okay, well he can talk for another 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, all right, it's pretty cold. Hubby's not wearing. Now that Hubby's got more tattoos, I think he's just showing off his sexy arm. Look at that. So sexy, Hubby. He's not paying attention to me. Yeah, they close in 30 minutes to get there. Mm -hmm. they close, so you have to leave in like. Yeah. Oh my goodness. See, see, this is why I don't have time to be editing. We're always go, go, go. So, hmm. All right, we'll see you guys in hopefully in a bit. And I gotta do my eyebrows. Look at that. I haven't seen Miss Amy to do my eyebrows in like over a month. <laughs> I've been so busy with work. Uh, all right, see you guys in a bit. He's like, you should vlog it. All right, so Jonathan is still with his uh, friends. So we decided to just go ahead and leave him there. <laughs> we're like, because uh, he said it was just going to be quick, but um, he's, having fun. he's having fun. So we're going to go make it to the um, Starbucks Reserve, which was just 20, like 20 miles, right? About 20, minutes. 20 minutes. Here's the downtown oh, Space Needle. This is actually where Danielle and Antonio went, what, last weekend? Oh, uh, yeah. They took the bus by themselves, and Danielle was so scared. <laughs> she goes, I've never taken the bus by myself yeah. before, a public transportation. <laughs> and then Antonio's like, it's okay, you can do it. Yeah. So they left our house at 9, and they didn't come back until... What are you following me? Oh, 
<laughs> they didn't come back until I was thinking, what time did they come back? Like six? Yeah, five or six. Yep, six in the afternoon. So they spent the whole day. They were here, around here, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, they were here. They were in, into the, the Museum of Pop Culture. Pop yeah, Culture. Mopop. Yeah. So hubby is now trying to see if he'll make it because they close in like 45 minutes but we're only six six minutes away we should make it but i was telling hubby he's like i don't think i can live here <laughs> there's the space needle right there i don't know if you guys can see that but uh that's you see all the high-rise buildings and this is not even majorly downtown or is it this is downtown. Oh, this is majorly downtown. Majorly downtown. Majorly, I cannot do majorly downtown. I cannot drive in majorly downtown. I cannot live. I cannot walk by myself. How would you define majorly downtown? Majorly, I've never heard of that term before. Well, majorly <laughs> downtown is like into the heart of downtown, like majorly. <laughs> right? Oh. You know, some people say downtown. But downtown could be a big area. But Heavens major. to Betsy, babe. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such term. <laughs> I make up my own terms. Majorly, oh look, see, this is majorly downtown to me. Because look at that hill. Look at all these high-rise buildings. Oh my goodness. This is like a whole new world to me. I'm such a suburban girl. <laughs> I'm a suburban girl. I need space. <laughs> oh. But, uh, oh, is this the Whole Foods that I went to when I dropped you off? Or, oh, I don't know. Oh, a different one. You dropped oh, me wait. off and went somewhere. Yeah, I think I went somewhere. Nope, I think I remember I crossed the street. Nope, this is not the one. But see, look at this. I cannot drive Hubby's truck. Good thing we have Jonathan's car. But look at the hill. Can you just imagine in the snow? <sighs> I bet you they closed this out huh, during the snow. This one. Do you want this one? I just wanted to see what kind of 